Marvel of Muddy End is our newest community play. We're really excited about it because it's the first time that we've done a site-specific promenade performance. And where it sits within the whole portfolio of ARC's community work is at the very heart of what we're about, engaging the local community in doing something for themselves personally, but also by working together as a group of people. It looks like they're stopping at Never Reach. Map me six, the map. Yes, sir. All right. They're beyond the village boundary and have vacated their premises and will therefore forfeit their tenancy. After two weeks. After two weeks. But let's get the lawyers working on it for now. And let's get the bulldozers ready to rock. Oh, yes. Do you think they might let me have a go? Why not? Me too. I can't wait. Soon we'll be looking out across Barnard Chester. Uh, Dockertyville. I thought we agreed. The project is, is very much about here. It's very much about Barking and Dagenham. Um, I kind of take some historical references and I was really interested in the story of Creekmouth, which is a kind of the basis uh, for, for Muddy End and how that changed. But what really struck me about here, about the people here, is that they're actually, people in Barking and Dagenham are quite proud of where they're from. And I, and I kind of wanted to show that. Well, along with that comes almost a, um, a sense of fear of change, that, that somebody might be changing their area. And there are lots of things going on at the moment, uh, lots of, of redevelopment, um, that people, I think, are naturally wary of. And I wanted to do something that encompassed that. By, so by taking a, a historical slant on the changes of the past, that we might be able to, to really kind of investigate uh, the, the changes that are, that are current. Well, it's a true story where people who are poor and trying to live their daily lives without interference of the big cities coming in, cramping their styles. But as progress begins and goes, they've got to move on. And it's nice that people write about local things and, and perform about local things because it brought it alive. You know, there's a bit of history in there as well as the, as the play itself. As the director of the piece, my responsibility is to encourage people to feel safe enough to go on that journey and believe that there really is the outcome that I promised them at the beginning. And creating a site-specific piece where the audience wander around is quite new for many of our actors, some of whom have never performed before. One of the most magical moments for me was the moment when they saw it all come to life down here and could contribute to building their own houses. In fact, probably my favourite thing was watching each family in the play construct and build their house every week, bringing more and more things. The power of that has been that it has led all of us and the community group and players to really develop a sense of belonging and a sense of home and place. And that's been really very powerful in this, in this process, this time, a sort of cultural experience and a, a sense of a place to go to. In a way, I'm glad also that I came in and uh, my partner came in as well because uh, we brought very much the idea of, uh, and, and other people as well, we brought very much the idea of uh, diversity in the borough. And there is a good range of ages as well. And there is all sorts of different backgrounds. So I guess it's pretty inclusive. What really reflects this idea of community? And uh, for people who have been here longer than, than I have, and, uh, and, uh, and for people who actually were born here, uh, I can really see, you know, people come here, they know each other from outside the, pl the play. And, and, and I think this, really this idea of community and of, uh, of people, you know, in a way maintaining tradition as well. Because still there is many things that don't look like central London. There is still, you know, the unique character of the borough. So. I think, and that, that's also reflected in the, in the play. And it's great because it's open to everybody, and everybody's, you know, mm, any yeah, level. Sure, and yeah. it's, it's just great, and it's great watching the way, for me, it's advanced me more, but it's great watching other people that come in and hardly done anything before, just how much they advance as well. The biggest thing for me is that I really like singing, and most importantly, it's allowed me to learn how to perform. 
um, rather than just standing on a karaoke stage, but actually really perform. And it's just made me so confident in that. And I'm just really proud that I actually own my own song for the first time in my life. <laughs> One of the great things about this project has been the sense of group, the sense of community that we've developed over the year or so that the, the programme's been running. So many people have been involved with this. The culmination is a wonderful testament to a huge number of people's hard work. I ended up at ARC through my son Robert. He found out about it and he's always wanted to do acting. So basically, in the first instance, I came along to keep him company. I can't believe the difference in him in the last six months. He has got so, so much confidence. To see him now, it's like looking at another person. He has really, really done me proud. Yeah, since gaining my first professional acting um, job with ARC, um, it's really helped in my personal life. It's helped me be more independent, work for my money. Um, my son really looks up to me. Even his teacher at school, when there was a parents evening, said, um, Jimmy's so proud of you. He always speaks about what his mummy does. and." My mummy does this and my mummy does that and when I'm older I want to do what my mummy does. And uh, yeah, he's, he's been more confident and he's come out of himself and, you know, it's really helped out at home with us. Never been in a theatre production like this and I, I enjoyed it. More, more natural and um, it, it just made everything really raw and fresh, so yeah. yeah. The fact that they weren't, they weren't necessarily professionals, you could relate to them almost. Over the past three years in creating this project, we've worked very closely with the local authority who funded the project to support their ambitions of the opportunity for people to participate actively and meaningfully in the arts and thereby encourage a greater sense of social cohesion, an opportunity for people who perhaps under other circumstances may never meet each other. But by bringing them together to create something very specific that has a really tangible outcome, as this project does, is a very powerful way of delivering some of the targets that all local authorities need to be looking at these days. And we're really pleased to be working in that way with our local authority here in Barking and Dagenham. Well, what I really did notice is that there is quite a wide split of people performing people of different nationalities, people with different interests and I think that's beginning to reflect Barking today in such a lovely unified way and I also think because Barking's developing it's important it's got its own theatre area and Barking as a, an area is becoming more community minded. It lost its way for a while but with some of this new development that's coming back and I think that's important for, for young people to see that again today. I think it's important because it gives a focal point to a community and I think therefore more local people will come and see it because it is people from the community. I couldn't believe just how much skills this has given me to, to actually stretch myself further, to be able to take hopefully myself further in it. I've gained a hell of a lot of confidence through coming because I would never have dreamt of doing anything like this before. Well, I enjoyed the ensemble atmosphere, made loads of new friends and uh, also enjoyed having a go at uh, acting and singing for the first time in my life. When I was at school, I'd done drama at school, but I was never uh, given it myself, you know, and uh, it was an opportunity that I missed when I was younger. This is now my opportunity. I know it's a little bit late, but I'm having fun now, better late than never. My ambition for this project is, is, is huge. I mean, I, I don't see any reason why we can't be doing a play this time next year with a cast of 100. And, and I want, you know, for, for this group to be something that the whole of the borough can take pride in, and I think they can. But it's, it's, a, it's a long slog and it's hard work. But I think, you know, with, with the work that's been put in so far, we can, we can achieve that. 
Arc Theatre has um, been around now for just over 25 years, and it's been through many different manifestations during that time. Its real primary purpose is to create new theatre, drama, stories, workshops, and to involve people in participation in the community and across a very wide range of audiences. And it's, it's brilliant because we have people in the group from the age of 15 to 65, and they are all pulling together for a shared purpose. And that's actually quite special. And it's a tough old process, but it's profoundly rewarding when you see it come to fruition.